Hello everyone, um, today's video I'm going to be talking about uh, how to keep records of your pigeons, um, no matter if they're fancy pigeons, um, high flying pigeon, rollers, homers, um, it doesn't matter. Um, so this is my record right here, uh, 50 cent binder, it's really not that fancy. But we got my loft name right there, Racing for Christ Loft. Um, but in here, we got this little notepad. This is for if you need to take down a quick note uh, and you don't want to carry around the whole binder, you just grab this, write it. Excuse me. Um, you just write in this and um, transfer it into the big notes. This is where I keep my. Uh, real note or records. We'll save that for a little bit um, This paper is for any time I um, say by build building a new loft or um, Building something for the loft perches nesting boxes anytime I add on or build up my lofts I will go and make a graph or pretty much blueprints on how I want to make it, uh, the size I need to make it, and I just make blueprints with uh, dollars worth of um, what's it called, um, graph paper. So these are my old, old um, records. But as far as um, writing, I always have my pen sharpie and uh, pencil and highlighter which I'm using as a pointer but to my records these are from many years ago as you can see it's been rained on I've taped it messed with it I was young when I first got this you guys will probably laugh when I show you this but oh, I forgot I taped it up a long time ago but if you see all these little bumps right here my mom got me a pack of stickers many, many, many years ago. And they were little fruit stickers. And I posted them. That's an apple, peach, watermelon, grapes, whatever. I thought that was funny. Um, you come to the front. I have old phone numbers that I don't even know what they are anymore. But I got a circle equals female. Line equals male. For, um... When I do that pencil trick that I showed you guys. Um, but these are my actual records right here. Let me move it into the light so it can focus better. But what I do is I number it. And then this is for my white birds. So I number it. And then I put their band number by each in each little section. And then I come. And let me get my pointer so it makes it easier. I come... Um, here this means male if there's an x by it that means they're male and then i got nest number which is um where they're wanting to nest with their mate so um say this one's this one's nest mate or is in nest number four this is nest number seven number three and then you come here female there's one, two, three, four. Wow, these are old records. I don't even remember these bands. These had to have been from the beginning of this year because there's 2018 right there. Um, but, and then we got the mate section. So, let's say number 26. Oh, its mate is, its mate is number 21. Okay. And then just say, let it focus. Um, AU 2018 Foys. Oh, it don't have a mate. So I, you guys get the point on that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and you come, and these are for the colored pigeons. As you can see, I have a lot more colored pigeons than I have white pigeons. 
all these are crossed out because I made new made new um, notes. Um, but the same thing goes here. I number down. I write the band numbers, and then I put down if they're male, and then I put down their nest, and then I put down if they're female, and then I put down their mates band number. So those are my old records which I keep just for the fun of it. I've had it for many, many years, so I keep them. But let's get to what you all probably been wanting to see is my, oh, highlighters in the way. Um, guys probably want to see my actual records that are up to date, which is these, these bad boys right here. Ready? We got a picture of what our lofts looked like 15 years ago. Um, that's our loft. Oh, sorry, the camera was sideways. Um, that's our loft 15 years ago. Um, as you can see, our high flyers run isn't there no more. Or wasn't there when this picture was taken. And then their new roof wasn't on this one. And their cage right there. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glare. Oh well. Um, moving on. These are my new records. Um, let me get my pointer. We got prepared by RFC Racing for Christ Lofts. Project Tile. Title. White Pigeons. The date I wrote these notes was 4-25-18. These are all my white ones, NPA, NPA, 26, 48, 42, AU, 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 and it goes female, or NPA, female, NPA, male, 26 is a female, 48 is female, 42, female, AU is a male. These ones were too young when I wrote these notes to see if they were really male or female. So as you can see, I don't have it marked down. And then these four right here, their mates are 7181. Oh, and then this one, number 26, was a female. Her net or Oh, man, I forgot about that. Um, number 26... Uh, died not too long ago she's one of our oldest white hens her mate was number 21 as you can see right there it looks like a K but it's actually an M for missing in action um, she got taken out by a hawk that was a sad day um, anyways move on um, 48's 48's uh, mate is number 18 Number 42's mate is 3832. Um, and those are my white ones. And then turn the page. Yeah, I got a lot of them. Um, prepared by RFT, project title, colored pigeons. Date I wrote this was 42517. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, as you can see, I'd like to have it nice, neat, in order. I'm really picky about my records now. Oh, let me put that letter away so I don't write on my page. Um, so, right here, I got all NPA, all AU, 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 and then UAS 2017-00048 is from Pay. It's the weirdest band I've ever seen before so far. Shout out to Pay. Um, and then we got number 13, 21, 18, 33. Um, and then we got these, the highlighted ones. Oh, my phone keeps not focusing for some reason. Let it focus. There we go. The ones that are highlighted, those were my prisoners, uh, adult birds that I got when um, they were already adults. So pretty much they were only going to be breeders, except one day the pigs pushed open the door and they all got out and they all decided to stay at my loft. So 
I highlighted them just so I would know their band number if they ever did decide to go back to their old house. But I'm not really worried about them going back to their old house no more because I've let them every let them out every day now for about a month and they're still here. So and then as you can see here, I got AU 2017 Dijer 148, which is a male. Um, Ron Dijer sent me this bird and another bird. Um, the other bird ended up not having a real band, so I'm not too sure which one he is on this out of these birds. But um, and then the PPH is Pikes Peaks Homing. Um, it's a local homers, uh, racing homers group club in Colorado. Um, that's those are the people I'm gonna race with when um, I get into racing. I'm gonna be flying for the PPH. Um, I pretty much I think I bought all these 2017 PPH right here. I bought from Dwight Baker. And then you can see some of my prisoners were given to me, PPH, PPH, <coughs> excuse me, um, and as you can see, female, female, male, 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 female, female, male, male, you get the point, um, missing in action, let's see who is that, NPA 2018 8BB2155, okay, yeah, that one's missing, I lost him on a trip. He was a red checker. I got a, I have a crappy memory when it comes to important stuff, I guess you could say. But you show me a pigeon band and I can remember the day it was born. <laughs> but um, anyways, you can see I keep full record on male and female, on mates, who's mated with who. Um, yeah, there's more. Um... PPH, 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 PPH. All those are from Dwight Baker too, I believe. PPH right there. PPH right there. I got a lot of PPH in here. Uh, PPH has officially lost all meaning. I've said it so many times. It doesn't sound right when I say it anymore. <laughs> um, most of my birds are 2017 and 2018. Um, as you can see right here, I got female, male. These ones were too young to decide if they were male or female. But, um, so let's just take a count really quick. Let's see. From very beginning, we have nine white ones. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 52, 52 birds when I took these notes. Um, I'm going to be redoing these notes because I know I don't um, have that many. Obviously, babies die, babies get lost, um, babies don't make it home from training. So, um, these aren't 100% accurate, but most of these birds I still have. I believe I have like 45 birds, not 50 something. So, uh, now I gotta redo all my files or records. That way, they're accurate, so if I lose a bird, I can, oh, okay, it was this one that I lost, or, oh, okay, it was this one that I lost, and then what you would do, just say, seeing as I'm going to be redoing these anyways, I would go, I'd probably cross this one out a little bit, and then I would come right here, and I would put missing in action. Um... It's a lot harder to write when you're looking through a camera, but yes, I'm left-handed. Um, I know somebody's probably going to make a joke. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I keep my records. As you can see, I don't have the best handwriting, but it's neat. It's pretty. looks good. 
orderly. I got my whites and then I got my colors. And then, like I said, old picture of my lofts. Racing for Christ lofts right there. Racing for Christ lofts there. And then we got Racing for Christ lofts there. There. I love it. That's my name. Um, so, I guess that's um, the video for today. It's a little bit longer than I was expecting. <coughs> um, but yeah, that's how I do it. And that's how I've been doing it. Um, obviously, the older you get, the um, more into it you get. So, as you can see, I went from just that one book right there to that book, graph paper, this book, binder, this book, pen, pencil. It just it grabbed a hold of me, and that's how I do it. That's how it works. That's how I keep track of my birds, and I'm happy. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, subscribe comment. Even like the video. Um, this is Racing for Christ Lofts. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, have a good day. God bless.